this is Gali Gopar and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling courageous because today our quote of the day is Feel the fear and do it anyway by Susan Jeffers. There are two types of fear. Innate fear, which is all about avoiding physical pain or death. This fear leads us to fear spiders, snakes, height, flying, or swimming because they have a potential to harm us. However, innate fears do not cripple us with regards to our future. They may have an effect on our life, depending on how well we control these fears, but they often do not block our path to success at something. The other type of fear is called identity fear. This comes when we fear that we will fail or embarrass ourselves in front of other people. This class of fears happen when we believe that what is happening poses a threat on our standing in the community. We may fear staying alone, being abandoned, or being rejected. This fear is very real as it comes from our dependence on other people for friendship, support, and our survival. Nowadays, most of our fears are identity fears, and these may block our way to happiness. The word fear is often used as an acronym when F-E-A-R, fear, stands for fantasized evidence appearing real. We fantasize a negative outcome and believe that this is what will happen to us if we follow through with the action that stirred up the fear. When we hold a fearful identity consequences in our mind, then we are physiologically actually feeling the fear right now in our body, just as when we see a snake. And this leads to a lot of anxiety and stress way before anything has actually happened. This stresses us out and stops us from continuing the path towards our success. Our subconscious mind does not differentiate between real incidents and imagined ones. Therefore, any negative images that we hold in our mind or any negative scripts that we have going in the back of our mind will have a negative effect on our life. However, since we have imagined uh, this fantasized outcome, then we can also imagine something else. And I'll talk about this in just a minute. We can look at the real situation as it really is without any fear behind it. And we can choose to look at the hard facts and then make a rash decision. I will get into this in a minute. But every time you feel fear before taking any important step or change in your life, then think about where this fear is coming from. Is it an identity fear? Is it real or is it imagined? Are the consequences really what normally happens in day-to-day -day activities and day-to-day -day life? Or are the consequences really something that can physically harm you? Fear is an important feeling in that it helps us become more careful. We should take a pause of thought before we rush into something that may have negative consequences for us. We should think things over but not overthink things. Otherwise, we will not have any forward progress and we will tend to freeze or run away from these fearful situations instead of confronting our identity fears and improving ourselves as to become better individuals. Anyone who has achieved anything worthwhile in life has had to overcome fears. This is a natural and a normal part of the process towards becoming the best version of you. When you succeed at something, you overcome the fears along the way. You don't let the fears stop you in your tracks. You keep on going and you take action in spite of what could have could happen to you. A few years ago, my husband and I were planning to buy a plot of land to build a hotel in Germany. After traveling all over Germany to find uh, different hotel locations, we found the perfect hotel with a little more land to build on in a beautiful location called Ruppolding. Wow, it was a really, truly beautiful location. I was right before signing the purchase papers after traveling many times back and forth from Germ to Germany for many appointments, along with my daughters and a helper that came with me. Uh, one day, my husband told me that he is really, really scared. And then the next day, he called me from work and said that he's not going through with it. So I had to cancel the purchase. Everyone was in complete shock. It was very embarrassing because we put in a lot of effort and time and money into this. But this is how fear can actually ruin a person's success. 
my husband's dream was to move to Germany. He loves Germany and he, because of his love of cars as well. He ruined his opportunity for creating this dream life for him just because of fear. And as a turn of events, it was actually good that we didn't move there because just a few weeks later, I discovered that I had cancer and then my life completely changed as a result. I understood that life is short and that I still had things that I wanted to do in this lifetime. And then I got to work doing them. And this is when I began my research into the ideal diet for humans. But fear does not only creep in for very big life-changing events. Fear is also there even when we make small changes or small lifestyle changes, such as changing our exercise program or even changing our dietary habits or certainly speaking on stage in front of other people or moving neighborhoods. Many times we will not even begin something new because we fear that uh, we will either fail or embarrass ourselves or we fear of standing out or we feel how others may perceive us. We fear that our life will become unhappy and that our identity is on the line and we haven't even made any change. This is when our fears lead to our unhappiness and block us from reaching our dreams. You cannot be the master of your life if you let your fears run your choices. The good news is that you don't have to give in to fear and let it ruin your life. You can proceed in spite of fear. So how do you do it? Well, here are two methods that will help you overcome your identity fears and help you succeed in spite of being afraid that something bad will happen to you. The first one is you want to connect with your why, your reason for doing something. Before you even start to plan your steps towards any goals, your reason for doing something will help you overcome fear. If you saw the movie Into the Wild, then you recall that towards the end of the movie, which is based on a true story, Chris McCandless had a choice of whether to try to cross the river back to civilization or not. It looked that it was too difficult for him to do at the time. But if he would have known that if he didn't cross at that time the river, then he would surely die, how much effort would he have put into crossing that river? All of his effort he would have put in. When we have a strong enough reason, then we can get over our fears and anything else that is holding us back from making our steps towards our desired future. The second step that you to counteract any identity fears is that you want to acknowledge the worst case scenario scripts that you have running in the back of your mind. When you notice that they are running the show, then you must take their power away. And the best way to do this is by replacing these scripts with different ones, creating different scripts or images in your mind to replace current identity fear scripts will allow you to free yourself of the handcuffs that fear has on you. Write down this script that I'm going to tell you right now for every identity fear that you encounter. I'd like to do this particular thing, but I am scared of doing it because I am thinking that this thing could happen if I did do it. So instead, I choose to think of me succeeding at this or of me handling bravely anything that will come my way. Once you understand the power that fear has to hold you back from your full potential and achieving your goals, then you will understand your need to tame it. You will succeed in doing so with running the right scripts through your mind and with a good enough why, a good enough reason. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself does that it will help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, what things do I need to do to advance my goals? And where is identity fear creeping in, scaring me of failure, embarrassment, or rejection? Now write down a different script in your mind, one of you succeeding. Imagine it over and over again in your mind relentlessly until you have sufficient power to go through with your plans in spite of your fear. As usual, I recommend writing this question and your answer to it in a notebook, especially prepared for this co these coaching sessions so that you can look over them and make sure that you're moving your life to the best place for you. To finish off, the affirmation of the day is, I am creating the life of my dreams and whenever I feel fear, I breathe in strength and breathe out fear. 
I am creating the life of my dreams. And whenever I feel fear, I breathe in strength and breathe out fear. Tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, thegorillodiet.com to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining me.